Electrical networks had a simple origin. There was a generator having two wires for connecting an electric bulb, motor, and a single devices to them. Many people know that two power cables can be connected to their sockets, and they think that when considering load, nothing has been changed from since. But in fact, in 1891, one event that made the simple circuit more complicated occurred. A Russian scientist, Dolevo Dobrovolsky, invented a three-phase network. Its advantages for power engineers are too significant that even in the foreseeable future there can be anything better. A classical three-wire and three-phase network was created for three-phase load, mostly that of electric motors, and it is an ideal network for it. In case of three-phase load, currents consumed in each phase are equal. Therefore, all three-phase voltages are equal too. If we connect one-phase load, electric bulbs, computers, etc., in a three-phase network, load resistance in different phases can turn out not equal. Phase voltages in a classical three-phase network will also become different. If two phases have little load, for example, but the third has much load, then the voltage of the third will be much lower than the rated value of 220 volts, and thus the voltage can be insufficient for normal running of a device. In this case, voltage of the first and second phases will be much higher than rated value and a connected device can break down. Such effect electricians call electrical imbalance. In order to equalize the voltage in the electrical three-phase network, one more common wire was brought into the circuit, sometimes it is called neutral. Current flows in a neutral, compensating current difference in separate phases, thereby voltages in different phases become equal. And now it is clear how dangerous common wire break can be. This breakdown will immediately lead to electrical imbalance and one-phase equipment damage.